This year, UCSI University would like to honor a deg degree student posthumously. Mr. Pang Jai Jun joined UCSI University's Bachelor of Arts in Mass Communication in September 2019. He completed his degree program with flying colors, ranking in the top 10% of the class with a CGPA of 3.90. He was a passionate film and television student who was always enriching the lives of those around him. He lived and breathed production and spent his days doing exactly what he loved. When he was not at university, he was helping those in need around him in whatever capacity he could. Mr. Pang led by example and lived his life to the fullest. We would like to invite Professor Dr. Chan Ni Ni, Dean of the Faculty of Social Sciences and Liberal Arts, to deliver a brief background of the late Mr. Pang. Good afternoon and salam sejahtera to Ahmad Mulia Tunku Zain Al Abidin Ibni Twanku Muzriz, UCSI University's Pro Chancellor, Yang Berbahagia Datuk Peter Ng, UCSI's Group's Founder and UCSI University's Council Chairman, Yang Bahagia Professor Datuk Insinia Technologist Dr. Siti Hamisa Binti Tapsil, Fellow Academy of Sciences, UCSI's CEO and UCSI's University's Vice Chancellor. UCSI's University's Council Members and the Senate Members, the Deans of the Faculties, UCSI University's Senior Management and Staff, Parents and Graduates of Class 2022, Tan Sri Tan Sri, Puan Sri Puan Sri, Datuk Datuk, Datin Datin, Tuan Tuan, Puan Puan, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. My name is Prof Chanini, and I truly wish that I was addressing you under happier circumstances. As many of you know, the sudden passing of one of our graduating students, Pang Jia Chun, or Jin, as he liked to be called, in August this year was devastating. Known to be a great cosmate and a genuine friend, his death is truly a tragedy of monumental proportions. With a singular goal in mind, Jin wanted to leave his mark on this world through his art and found UCSI University as the institution where he wanted to seek his knowledge. He knew making a name for himself in the film production industry is not easy, but Jin was determined. He was so determined that he abandoned a secured business degree from a Canadian university to thoroughly wow the world with his stories and vision. He came back to his roots and started from the bottom rung to make a name for himself, driven by passion. And he was also extremely kind and generous in spirit. spirit. There was never a project that he did not put 100% of his efforts into, nor did he ever disre dis disregard constructive criticism. He was always willing to offer a helping hand to his struggling university fellows and did his best to think outside of the box. In fact, there were many projects where he took the box completely apart. This was reflected in Blue, a short film that Jin wrote and directed. The short film was university, uh, universally acclaimed and played in multiple international film festivals, including Cliffs, Selmani, Diorama, and Thessaloniki. He went on to win the Critics' Choice Award for Best Short Film in the World Film Carnival of Singapore. He was driven by his conviction and his self-belief that he was going to be someone, that he was going to change people's lives one grounding and moving experience at a time. Those of his peers who knew him, knew him as a man determined to make his mark on the world, 
those who did not knew him as the man who was always willing to spare a smile in the hallways of Block G and a quick hello while waiting for the elevators at level eight. He was a sentient film and encyclopedia who was always happy to discuss about directors and visual storytellers whom he idolized. He could hold the most mind-boggling conversation with you and then turn around and start the weirdest debate with you just for giggles within a 10-minute interaction. He was a shining beacon and hope and talent who was cruelly ripped away from the world too soon. A budding force of nature who had already started to make a name for himself. When we lost Jin, not only did we lose all that he was, but we also lost all that he could have been, all of his potential and all the greatness that he had within him are now gone. However, what we have not lost are our memories of Jin. Jin inspiring us, rooting for us and sharing our sorrows. Jin never dimmed and his energy never diminished no matter what he was doing. He established a calming presence and was one of the kindest people that have ever attended this university. I know all of us, especially Jin's family, is dealing with immeasurable grief. But I do hope that we will take solace in the fact that UCSI University, especially the graduating class of 2022, will never forget Jin. He touched our lives and was one of the most motivated people ever to grace our halls. He is now and forever immortalized within these walls and we will do everything we can to keep his memory alive because he may have moved to pastures afar, but he has not left us, not truly, not until he is forgotten. And I can promise you one thing, none of us can erase Pang Jia Jun in our lives anytime soon. All of us are really proud of him. Thank you. And to honor Pang Jia Jun, I would like to present his, this posthumous degree to his family. Thank you, Professor Dr. Chan Ni Ni. Now, we would like to invite Mr. Pang's father, Mr. Pang Kok Fei, on stage to receive the posthumous award from Yang Ahmad Mulia, Pro Chancellor. <laughs> 